Hey everybody and welcome to part 11 of Spyro 2 Ripto's Raid. So in this episode, we will be going to Shady Oasis and completing it and probably doing one or so levels in Winter Tundra, though we already did the Speedway, so that's not an option. Now we already know what to do here. We have to get him to the ending. Spyro. Let me alone, Shorty the Hippo. We already talked to you in the episode that we actually dealt with you. Yeah, so we have to do this all over, but this time we collect everything that's here. This level isn't that difficult. There's only two orbs as well, and they're actually fairly easy challenges, surprisingly. You just needed certain power-ups. Damn, Shorty. Getting in my way. Same with you, Peacockerson. Getting all cocky. Okay, just making sure we grab everything. After this, we will have... Now this this enemy here with the shield is kind of interesting. If you hit him from the back with charging or headbutting, he dies. Hit him from the front with flame, doesn't do anything. Hit him from the uh, front with um, charge, it just stuns him. Kind of weird, but this is the way things roll. Lots of gems here that we can pick up. Remember, we're aiming to get 100%. Also, if you're wondering what this is for, I believe this is for one of those um, vases that, you know, teleport across the uh, whole zone. Not a big fan of that, and hey, that was a 1-up. 31 lives. Wow, wow. Whoop. Sorry, bro. Yeah, shorty, I'll go and get your damn apple. I swear it's supposed to be a berry, but... To me, it's an apple, and I will always call it an apple, because clearly it looks like an apple on an apple tree. There we go. Thanks, Shorty. Bloop. And we got a lot of enemies to deal with in here. God, what the hell? I took the damage before he actually swung his blade. You're attacking your partners? Well, that's a smart idea, wench. Yeah, I'll just throw attacks at my own partner. Get him distracted so he can't hurt the enemy that's clearly coming for me. Stupid. Hey, a pop bottle rocket. How did I miss that? It's actually more like a, a wine bottle rocket, but... <laughs> whatever works, right? It's a cool concept. I don't know. Most of these concepts in this game also return in Spyro 3. So, the game doesn't really change that much. I have a feeling I'm going to get shot in the ass, but apparently I didn't. Apparently she only attacks you when you're on screen. Go figure. Ha! You killed him without me having to do anything. Finally, a person who does the thing that I want them to. There we go. Activate the vase. It's actually down below us. Now this guy will give us the orb challenge. Three thieves have stolen our magical brass lamps. Please get the lamps before they take them away from she. Sure. Sure, I will do that. And there's one. Looks like he's down below us. One's over there where we... I told you the vase shows up. And then one's in one of the passageways coming to here. Honestly, not that difficult to find. Woohoo! Oh, there's the rocket to blow up in that uh, thing of gems. We'll deal with you later. See, you needed head bash for this. And you also need head bash for the second door. So you did need it for quite a bit of stuff. Hey you, you damn little Arabian punk. Woo! There we go, we got one of the lamps. See, there's that platform I was telling you about. Ooh, gems. Ah, lucky me some jammies. I'm pretty sure we get to, what, 4,300 or something like that here? I'm assuming that much. Hey, buddy, can I have the uh, other lucky. orb challenge? Yeah, his eight brothers are going to come out of here. All you have to do is you have to head bash them before they sink in. The only problem is there's a delay in, like, when you attack, because you can only go so fast. It's a really easy challenge, surprisingly. And... Ta-da! Simple. I have a big family, but you've managed to save all of them. Take this thing, too. I'm too tired to carry it anymore. You guys are lazy bat hippos, and why do you have bat wings, anyway? 
Anyways, let's go grab these orbs. Orbs? Jeez Louise, gems. Clearly not orbs. I don't know what I'm smoking today, guys, but I'm out of it. I am friggin' out of it. I believe we can just go down here. Collect all these gems. And then allow us to still come back over here to get not only the thief, but the vase. Woo! Smoked you one, bro! Now only one vase remains. Let's go. Did I say one? I said one vase. They're brass lamps, even though the picture of it's blue. Wait, isn't that literally just across from me? It is. I like how you couldn't see me in the distance. You could see sparks, but you couldn't see me. It's not that far away, game. And now back at the beginning. Well, the beginning is just this way, so I might as well go and do that. Wait, no, the beginning's not this way. Shit. I'm backwards. Uh, that's a very long invincibility time, thank you, but I don't need you anymore. I'm pretty sure the other thief is this way. Yeah, he is. And he just goes around in, like, an X. Wait, no, actually, he goes around in just full out full circle. I thought he went around in a figure eight. Well, there we go. There's the third one. Thanks for bringing back the three magic lamps. Here, take this orb. Some fairy left it with me, but it won't hold a proper shine. Well, I don't think they're meant to shine, bro. Now, there is a short... Thanks for help. No! You already have this talisman. I don't care. Man, you're the one who ate all the damn berries anyway. It's all your fault, dude. Damn hippopotamus. And there we go. Now we can leave and go do a level in Winter Tundra. We already seen that. We don't need to see things again. I think we're at least like 80-85% done the game. We're doing pretty good for ourselves. Um... Now, just to go take that portal back home. Ow. Don't run into walls, Spyro. So four levels left until the final boss of the game. That's pretty exciting, isn't it? <laughs> okay, all refreshed. And no, I, I meant to say refreshed, not refreshed. How about we do two mythical, mystical levels all in one episode? So let's go to Mystic Marsh. This game, Swamp Level. Woohoo! Okay, snail elephants. Snellephants. What do you have to say, Things buddy? Things just aren't the same since our magic fountain shut off. It sure would help if you could find out what evil force is behind this disaster. Okay, but I... Uh, I don't know. Wow, unflammable rhino elephant thingies. Or rhino elephants, snail elephants. And then we just got monkeys that look more like monkeys than the monkeys in... Uh, Scorch did, you know the ones for the zoo? You know what, I really don't want to deal with that monkey right now! Get out of here, you fatso. This level, I believe, actually has the most enemies in the entire game. 36 enemies. Oh yeah, that sun is literally blinding my face right now. I can't see shit! Okay, I can kinda see now. Oh my lord. I don't think I've ever been this blind playing a game ever. <laughs> and, and I mean, I've played blind Let's Plays. Our game's blind, obviously, because every game you start off playing is blind. Even if I get. Is it technically blind if you've watched someone else play it before? Or is it only blind if you've never seen anyone play it, nor have you played it yourself? Okay, you know what, Dick? Dick of Finn. What the hell? 
Jesus H tits. Oh my lord, so many enemies. Here, save my progress. I need to find a frog. Ah, enemy! I was not expecting there to be a random enemy right there. But there was. Now, honestly, there is water here they can swim in. It's just not very predominant in this uh, swamp land. Which is surprising. I believe to get this, you need like 20 enemies. And we have what? Oh, 16. We need four more. I believe that's actually a springboard. Um, oh. There's some platypus pufferfish down here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop, Sparrow, thank you. Oh, they sound so cute when they die. Poor little enemies, I don't mean to butcher you. Now, remember these ducks and things, because we're gonna have, like, a, an interesting orb to get here. No, you're not allowed puffing your body up and killing me, sir. Okay, let's get out of here. Go find some of the missing gems that i seen over here. Is it over here? I think it's on the other side of the... Yeah, it's on the other side. It's over this way. I think you clearly need to glide over to. I believe this is also where one of the orbs starts. Ah, Spyro! So glad you're here. I'm perfectly useless without my trusty pencil, and I seem to have lost it. I do have this extra egg. Perhaps you can trade it for my pencil. Yeah, so we have to actually go and trade items constantly. So we got this egg, and I believe this egg is actually given to a bird. I believe that's who we're giving it to. I believe there's only... Is there only two orbs here? Well, there's three. Oh yeah, for beating the level, I forgot. So there's only two orbs technically for doing challenges, and then the other ones are for, um... Just beating the level like you, you know, you would have... And like... In trying to get the talisman. Hey, you didn't throw anything at me that time, fudger. Oh, and there's literally just 20 enemies in this area, so that means we can now use this to get up. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I'm like, that makes sense. Now, okay, so I believe this is the nest that we need. And what you do is you aim up and you spit into it. There we go. This thing should drop off the next item. Hey, it's one of the seeds from um, Zephyr. I believe that actually goes over here. But first, I, me, knowing me, I need to grab all these gems. So let's go plant the seed. Hey, Mr. Pot. Blah. And it pooped out a rubber ducky. Well, spat out a rubber ducky, eh, piranha plant? What are you doing out of a Mario game? And we need to go bring this to the the duck and her duckling. It's just a rubber duck, not a real duck, but they must think it's a real duck. So we'll go give it to them. We'll give them a false we'll give them false hope that it's actually one of their family members. There we go. And a turn up. I believe going back up the one way, there's a um pot. And in that pot you can put this turn up. It'd be funny if the pot actually has the flower. I don't believe or the flower, the pencil. I don't believe it does, but we'll see soon enough. Also, one of the other orbs is very annoying to get just because it's I don't know, you know your whole typical thieves that you actually very rarely ran there was thieves in this game, right? Nah, 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 nah. No there wasn't. I don't think there actually were. That's surprising. There we go. Oh, now we have a gold coin, and I believe the gold coin goes into uh, the fountain. And then the fountain, I believe, gives us the pencil. And then we should be done with it. So let's go drop this off, or, well, spit it off. See, you can see the gold coins in there. Damn it, spit it out. Not in. There we go. And there's his pencil. It's a very magical pencil, but it's a pencil. Whatever floats the professor's boat, eh? Okay, I don't think I can make it up here. Oh, actually I can, sweet. 
Ah, I spat it I out. Pencil. Now I can begin calculating the age of the universe again. Here, take this orb. Alora says she thinks I'm going to lose it. Well, why do you even have it here? You're like right at Winter Tundra. Well, I know technically in a different world, but why are you guys all in different worlds? Okay, now all we have to do is beat the rest of the level, so... Well, and get the orbs, but we don't have to worry about that challenge anymore. Now for these, you can't actually knock them down any other way, so you actually have to get enough height. Eh, can't get up there, shoot. Oh hey, look, it's the... the end of the level guy. Oh, hmm. I must have dozed off there. Gully, looks like I let the fountain switch off. Here, take this orb and, um, don't mention my little nap to Hydra, okay? Yeah, his name is Snoozle, though. Clearly, he was destined to fall asleep to, on his job, you know? With a name like Snoozle. Oh, hey, Mr. Explorer, dude. What's up with you? Ah, Spyro, a friendly face. A bunch of rotten thieves have stolen the spark plugs, and I'm stuck here. Please get the four plugs back. Okay. It's, it's kind of funny, because how are you even up here, man? You can't drive up there. Oh, wait, there's one of the thieves. Batfink, get your squirrely butt. Yeah, we got it. It looks more like a pen. It looks like an upside-down pen. Not really a spark plug, but sure. We'll call it a spark plug. Whatever you want, game. Man, I think we still have over 100 gems to get here, don't we? Yep, we do. Okay, now we just gotta find the rest of those thieves, which I believe... Wait, have I went down here? Yeah, I have went down there. That was where that one thief was going. Never mind. Ooh. Stuff right there. I don't think there's anything down there that I want. Wait a minute, there's an enemy in here. Oh, enemies. There's actually quite a few of these little plata plata puffers. God, I, God, I'm like so fucking blind right now. The sun is like cooking my eyeballs. Die! Well, we're slowly getting to all the enemies dead. I always think it's funny when people think to get 100% on level, you need to like kill all the enemies as well. It's like, guys, no. It's like collecting the Kong letters. In Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and 3, you don't actually need it for 100%, it's just for lives, but apparently a lot of YouTubers go back and spend extra episodes collecting all the Kong letters. It's like, um, why are you collecting all the Kong letters exactly? Shit. These monkeys are like the worst enemy in the entire game. Did we kill all the enemies yet? No, there's still two remaining somewhere. There's the spot for the whirlwind. You know, right here. There's only a few more gems left. We're gonna have like over 5,000 once we're uh, ready to fight Ripto, and I don't believe we have to deal with money bags ever again. Shit, I'm gonna fail that. Yeah. Hey, no fair, you're not allowed going down. Not like that. Where the hell did he go? God damn enemy. He got away. Wait, with the gems are over here, buddy? Huh? They're not there. Must be like on the oh wait, there's a thief over there. That uh, that must be the one that got away. Oh no, I think he was the easy one. There is always an easy one. Now we need two more. I believe one is actually in the cave. Yeah, there he is. God damn you! Man, he keeps running. It's like, wow, most of the time they don't keep running, you know? 
Oh, I think the sun's finally setting. That or it's behind a cloud. Man. Oh, I guess I could cut them off. I didn't know you could cut them off. Well, if I did, then... Huh. Okay, so you're pointing this way. So, down here. There's nothing there, Sparks. Like, he's pointing down underneath me like there's gems down there, but... Oh, you mean right here with this puffer fish. The last two enemies of the entire level. I really don't care about you, buddy. You get to live. We just need to go and get that last orb. Oh, great. Nope, the sun was just behind a cloud. The sun was just behind a cloud. Oh, no, I'm blind. Okay, no, not really blind, but... Getting there, at least. Now, where is this last thief? Oh, there he is. Thiefers, get over here. Well, what the hell is that? Are you kidding me, you fucking game? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Just throw me down there, eh? No. Now he's back up there. I like how he doesn't even look where you are, but yet he knows exactly where you are. For some reason, I couldn't flame there. That screwed things over, man. Man, this guy's fast. There! Just when you think you got him, you finally do. in business. Here, young dragon friend, take this. It's museum quality, but you deserve it. Well, thanks, bro. I do need it. Now we can leave Mystic Marsh. Hydra's like, you dumbass. You have one job, and it's to make sure the fountain doesn't turn off. But he fails his job anyway. Anyways, that does it for this episode, and in the next episode, we will do one of the last three levels in this world. So, I have a feeling that this Let's Play is going to be about three parts, two episodes in the next episode and boss, and then the bonus level. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.